Good day, and today we're going to cover the events plugin and populating events. So the difficulty with the events plugin is that it does not support Divi templates, which is the sort of go-to, at least for the websites that I work on. And so when we're editing an event, we're just going to take a random one here, say this guy here. The temptation, which I would be inclined to do, is to click Enable Visual Builder and start editing fields, but that will actually semi-break the post because it's in a very structured fashion. So the technically correct way to do this um, is when you're setting up the events plugin to create a template that works really well, like this has uh, been structured and designed. And so when we go to Edit Event, on this one here. This is the one that the original developer um, sort of styled up so that it would look good on the front end while still letting the fields be edited in the back end like the the date and time and everything. And so what's been set up here is that's now been cloned to be the event template as shown right here. And so now whenever we want to populate a new event or if we need to migrate any events uh, the best way to keep that consistent formatting is actually to go into here and click uh, clone and this is done with the the Yoast cloning plugin that's been added to this site. So we'll click on clone and you can see it's automatically created as a draft so the public doesn't see this cloned version. And so now we can go in here and edit. And so now we can give it a proper new title, say my new event. We can change all the meta titles uh, or meta information such as the date and the time because now we're in the, the Gutenberg based um, controls for the events uh, the events plugin I suppose uh, is the official title. Uh, it's loading the image for quite a while here, not sure what's going on there. It could be a, a little glitch with my Safari browser. Um, and then you can change the, the text, date and time, and the trick is just to try to stay within the fields um, because those have all been pre-styled and uh, the register button, click on that. In this case, it goes to a certain uh, URL, so click on that and check that out. Google Calendar, more meta information down here. Um, the venue and all of that can be edited. And then when we're done, we just want to make sure that we switch it from, actually, it's ready to go public. So we just hit publish, it would go public, and then we could take a look at it. And if we just preview it here in a new tab, we'll see that it will follow that template and retain all of our formatting while adding our new information. So there's the, the title that we added. This button would change to a new link if we had set a new date there, or a new URL rather. And that's pretty much how event population goes with the events plugin. You can get crazy with custom templates and things, but um, I find that using their default template and then having the original developer just style it up so that it looks pretty presentable like this and uh, and then just copying a cloned template seems to be the most consistent way to make this sort of end result happen. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Otherwise, have a fantastic day.